What is up? Welcome back to another video. Nathan does vids here. Today in this video, I am showing you what is in my baseball bag for the 2022 baseball season. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. get into the contents in my baseball bag i'm going to show you the jerseys that the team is going to be rocking this year so for our alternate jerseys or mainly away jerseys um we're going to be wearing these bad boys these are all black jerseys um got our team across the front and i am number 13. these are actually pretty clean we actually wore these for our first home game um first game of season was home game um so yeah these are really clean and now on to our new jerseys that we literally just got. So um, here they are. They are the pinstripes. So some people don't like the pinstripes, but these are actually really clean. Those are the pinstripes. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but they're all white jerseys with black pinstripes, stitched um, number 13 on there and stitched lettering. We also got a patch on the side. So these were actually, we got a game tomorrow. So oh, we're wearing these for our home games. And yeah, so these are clean. We also have pinstripe pants. So these are gonna be really clean. Can't wait to rock these this year. So now let's get in to the baseball bag. So the bag I am using for the probably, I guess fourth and final year of high school since I am a senior is the Marucci team bag. You've seen it in all my other What's in My Baseball Bag videos. Um, it has a, a uh, pocket for the pleats in here. I'll go over that. All these other side pockets to put accessories and then your main component. So let's get on into the main component first. All right, so to start off, this is the first glove in my bag. This is my CK22 um, Pro model. This is Clayton Kershaw's uh, game model glove. This is actually a new glove um, since the la since last year. I, um, I lost my other CK22. Um, that's another story. I'll get into that later. Um, but I go two in the pinky. This is for pitchers. I got the two piece web on this one. Um, when we got it, it was actually pretty broken in. I still, um, this is what I use in the games when I pitch. Um, I still play catch it with it every time I warm up, um, no matter where I'm at to try to get that pocket. Um, it's definitely getting there. Um, it's still a little stiff, but as a pitcher, you don't really need a super floppy glove. Um, you just need something to be able to field your position and catch the ball back from the pitchers. But anyways, I go two in the pinky and one out on this one. It's just easier um, for me to close it. And it's just kind of what I do with all my gloves. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy to have this glove um, senior year. So hopefully we get to use this a little bit. Um, and let's get on into the next glove. So this glove right here is actually also a newer glove. Um, since my last video that I did on my baseball bag. Um, it is a Wilson A2000 uh, OT6. Uh, this is 12.75 inches. This is for the outfield. I love the trapeze web right here. It's like an extra finger, but not really because you can't actually put your finger in there. Um, sometimes I, I go two in the pinky on this one um, and one out. Sometimes one out, sometimes one in. It just depends on how I'm feeling, but this definitely gives me the extra length to go over the wall if I need to, or get down on the ground. Um, yeah, and it's actually kind of heavy, even though it has some snakeskin on it, um, but it's definitely a heavier glove than say my pitcher's glove. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing catch with this a lot. Um, it is a really big glove and it plays really big. Um, I got this actually used, um, I just needed another glove and we found this and it was actually pretty great and it's in great condition. Obviously uh, you can see it's been played catch a lot and it has a pretty decent pocket in it. So yeah, on to the next glove. All right, so the next glove in my bag, I made a whole video on this. Um, I am more of a utility player, so I could be pitching one day, I could be in the outfield another day or first base uh, possibly. So I got this custom uh, 44 Pro glove. I uh, made a whole video on it, look in the iCloud. Um, and then you can see that video on the review on this, but since then it's way more broken in, 
still has some flaws with the 44s it kind of pops out a little bit so still working on that um but what it is it's blonde um it might be hard to see with the uh the lighting in here but it's blonde with black snake snake skin we got some red stitching in between the snake skin and um yeah so i put a i put a cross there and then philippians 413 uh, i got a um snake skin for the finger pad also on this one go two in the pinky one out it's just what i do with all my gloves i just like it a lot better still working on the pocket but this is it's pretty much game ready finally it took so long to break it in um it was just a lot of catch a lot of ground balls fly balls even i took some off the machine to try to get this thing broken in it's still a little stiff but i like my gloves a little more stiff on the fingers um but yeah this is definitely a great glove it is a heavier glove because how thick the leather is but i'm very happy that i got this check the um i card to see the whole video that i did a review on this all right so the next thing i have in my bag is this uh mas massage gun um, I honestly just got this, not sponsored by them, but it's actually a great massage gun. I've had some knots in my back and recovering from my, my torn tendon. It's been great. Um, but yeah, this is a must need for athletes. Um, gets knots out, just feels good. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description. Go check it out. I believe for me, it was like 40 or 50 bucks. So it's a cheaper one, but I don't see a difference between this one and a Hypervolt. Um, that my friend has. So anyways, enough said about this. Let's get back into the baseball equipment. All right, so onto the bat that I use in the game. This is the DeMarini, I believe 2019 Voodoo. Um, this thing has lasted me. It, it is um, actually a three piece. So you got the barrel, this little connector piece that helps with sting, and then you got the handle. Um, as you can tell, I put some use into this thing. I batted, I believe 310 last year with it. Um, but yeah, I love this bat. I definitely recommend it. I remember, I believe it was two years ago, um, I was looking for a bat um, and I put it down in the comments. A lot of people recommended this bat at that time. So I'm very happy with this. Uh, I don't believe they make this version anymore, but they got the Voodoo one and all those um, other DeMarini bats. Um, but yeah, definitely do your research before you choose a bat um, that you're gonna use. But this thing has lasted me. This is a 32 inch drop three. Um, and yeah, love it. On to the next bat. So this bat I actually got for my birthday. It is a Marucci AP5 wood bat. Um, I got some lizard skin on this, some American flag lizard skin. Put some pine tar on this as well. Um, this is more like my fool around bat. Um, if I want more of a weighted uh, bat feel when I'm hitting off the tee, sometimes I'll use this. Maybe some soft toss. This is honestly just there, just in case of anything. Um, but on, I had a other wood bat um, and it broke. So then I sent it back to Murchi and they had great customer service. So they sent me this one um, and it was under their warranty as well. So it's great that it still it, uh, works for their wood and metal bats. So on to the next thing. Another thing that's in my bag besides this warm up jacket sometimes when it's like colder at the start of the season like it is right now, um, always have a jacket with you when you're done pitching. I say if it's colder, just have a jacket to keep that arm nice and warm and just to keep your body warm in case you um, go in late in a game, you wanna stay warm at the front of the game or at the end of the game. So yeah, on to the next thing. All right, so on to my cleats. I got two sets of cleats. Um, I got my practice cleats. These, you, these were my gamers last year. These are the Bryce Harper fours, I believe, the Harper fours. Um, but yeah, right now I use these in practice because we got a pretty special uh, gift for the whole team um, for our gamers, but I'll get into that in a second. But yeah, these are like, I believe these are like mid. Um, they go up to about my, a little past my ankle, maybe like it goes right under my ankle. Um, but yeah, these are great, great cleats. These are, actually have molds in the back, so plastic in the back and uh, metal in the front. I love these cleats. They used to be white and that just proves that you put in work that they're now black because we have a, we have a turf field. So rather than dirt, it's just pellets. So onto our gamers. These are the New Balance 3000 V5s. Um, these were actually gifted to us by Shane Bieber. He was an alumni at our school, so he gave back to the program and gave us the, uh, these. He has a deal with New Balance, leftover money, so he gifted us these cleats for the whole varsity team. 
Um, but yeah, so basically they're all white and I love them. Um, they are a little boxy, but no harm, no foul. I love these cleats. They look really, they're gonna look really clean in our pennies that we just got. Um, they look clean in our other jerseys. I love these cleats. And uh, yeah, thanks Shane Beaver. All right, so onto the accessory side of my bag. Um, let's start off with my Evo Shield arm guard. So this just goes on my front arm, like so. Sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. I just see how I feel. If I wanna wear it, I'll wear it. Other times, I won't wear it. It all depends. Next off is J-Bands. These are a must need for pitchers or really any baseball player just to get that um, stretch in before a game, before a practice. This is a must need in the bullpen, pre-game. You can do it post-game, uh, pre-inning, literally anytime you wanna use this, you can use it, just hook it on a fence, do your stretches. Um, you can look up um, different stretches on YouTube to do. Um, there's tons of different things to do with these, but this is a must. Sticking with the arm pain thing, as you guys probably know, might know, um, I just came back from an injury. I tore an extensor tendon on my lateral side. So not, not my UCL, which would be in here, which would be a longer recovery. I was out for about eight months. I tore a tendon right here from batting, um, just overuse and stuff like that. But a must need for me at least is KT tape. Um, you just literally take a piece of tape. It's pre-cut for you. I believe this one came in 20 strips. Um, and then for me, I just put it pretty much right, right there um, when I play. Um, and it, it pretty much stays on all game, which is fine, which is good actually. And I can pitch with it if I need. But uh, yeah, let's get on into the next thing. The next thing is my shades, um, whether I'm in the dugout or playing on the field. Um, I actually picked up these shades uh, this year. So these are the Oakley Radar EVs. So, I mean, I think they're pretty clean. They look great on the field. They look great in the dugout, wherever you are. These are a must for a baseball player when you see that there's sun um, and you need, your glove can't do all the work uh, to block the sun. So these just look clean and and yeah. All right, so the next thing in my bag is some um, Evo Shield batting gloves. Um, the front hand um, comes with a little like mold, just like you see with the arm guards or the literally any Evo Shield. Um, it goes just on your hand like that, on your front hand. So um, if you get fisted or something and you get a ball right there, um, it's gonna hit your the back of your hand, but it has this padding so you don't break a bone. Um, I've actually, it came in handy in a scrimmage that we did. It was actually my first game back um, since coming back from my injury. I was batting and then I get a ball off there. The ump actually said that it hit the bat, but it didn't. It just, it's a very loud sound, but it, it saves your hand. So that's really all that matters. All right, so pretty much the last thing uh, I got in my bag are baseballs and lacrosse balls. I got two lacrosse balls in there for rolling out before a game, along with doing the bands. I uh, roll out a little bit wherever I'm feeling sore or honestly, I just roll out. Um, and then just tons of baseballs. There's probably like four or five baseballs in there. Bring them for away games, use them with friends or whatever, just so I have extra baseballs in there. So that's gonna do it for the video today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, sorry, uh, it's been such a long time since I uploaded. I've been busy with starting baseball up again for the season, rehabbing and all this stuff. I know I said I would have a highlight video up and all this the skiing video. I'm just focusing on baseball now. So let me know in the comments down below what kind of baseball related videos you want me to do. If you want me to do like a day in a life on a game day, I could easily do that. Um, whatever, some tips, whatever. Um, and also I'm off to college next year. So that's gonna be a whole nother video. Um, I've already made my decision, but again, that's gonna be a whole nother video, most likely. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, do whatever you want with this video. Have a great season, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.